Okay, here we are. We are back in the garage. Solving, or the mystery is solved of where this huge bait came from. I did a video here, I don't know, about a month ago now probably on this great big lure that I had in the garage for years. And I actually asked to find the guy. I was asking what, what lake it was caught on because I figured nobody but the person that lost the lure and built the lure, you know, would be able to figure that lake out. So here, here is the lure in question for those of you that did not see the last video. This lure I found very briefly. I was fall trolling all alone one day. Cold. I just caught a 42 incher and I was all excited because I thought, man, the window's opening up. I'm going to get a big fish. And all of a sudden I got the Shamu on. I got this monster fish. And then I realized I was stuck. I went back, found out it was an anchor rope. I got my lure getter outer thing. I pulled up my lure and the anchor rope. Attached to the anchor rope underneath my lure was this lure and I thought oh my god this guy is something else He saw a huge fish and he wanted to build a lure. So anyway, I told the story here finally after all these years It was I don't know 16 years ago, maybe more. I don't know, but uh, We found them somebody saw the video on Facebook that knew that Mike Gass This is the guy that makes these lures Cornell, Wisconsin. He realized that it was probably him because he's seen other lures like this and contacted me and anyway we got together. So Mike, you've been doing this, this is really the interesting thing to me, you've been doing this since the mid 80s, these oh, big baits? Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's probably one of the first ones that I did put out, uh, <laughs> that I laid out, because it's pretty primitive. It's got the through wire and these have the uh, wire running along the outside and the paint's kind of cheesy too. So. Well, it's an early, early model. <laughs> well, maybe, yeah, well, early model and cheesy. I don't really know if the fish care too much about cheesy, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I did comment during the video that whoever did this was obviously thinking big and I like that, but I, I really got to say it's cool and I, you know, I spent a little time talking to you now after meeting you that you were thinking like that back then because, you know, especially back then it, you know, to me, somebody that thought to, take a shot at bigger fish like that and, and build lures that are essentially two to three times the size of anything else out there and, and really go for that trophy angle. I mean, that, that was, that's pretty awesome. You don't, like you said, you don't get a lot of hits, but when right. you do, it's not a little one. It's worth getting a look at. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's... Absolutely. And, and you don't, you just basically have done this for yourself and probably friends. You've built these yeah. big lures for them? Yeah, I build, uh, Jerk baits for a friend of mine, and yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he likes them. <laughs> well, that's awesome. And I, you've got a couple there you're going to show, but it, here's a bucket, folks, just in case. <laughs> what Mike makes, and it's uh, it's really awesome. But yeah, a little bit of everything. <laughs> that one is big. What now? Do you have names for the baits? Yeah. No. No. Um. Two by four, cedar. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Okay, but not people names. That's no. not like Chuck or anything like that. Okay. No. Uh -huh. Well, I named the fish though. Oh yeah. Big Jude and you know. Nice. <laughs> <you see> one. <laughs> nice. Well, cool. It's a it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. You too. It really is, and uh, you know I I. I I really find it impressive. It's, I mean, fellow, and I know you're a fellow muskie nut. You have to be. Anybody that built lures like this way back then has got to oh. be an absolute muskie nut. So I love people like this. <laughs> I yeah. love this deal. And I, I said that when I found the person that made this lure, or if I was going to give it back to him. So, Mike, oh. there you are, sir. Thank you, Pete. <laughs> Thank you. Together yeah, a, again. <laughs> I, I, I've appreciated having it for <laughs> however long it was. But. Oh, there's going to be an empty space now right up there with a... I'll, uh, I'll shed a tear for a little while, but I'll be okay. And I, I, I appreciate you coming up to join me in the garage here and talk about it. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs>